Hey there! Today we will be adding the linear rails for the z-axis. For this assembly we will need two center rail installation guides. These are 3D printed parts that center the rails to the aluminium extrusions. M3 by 8 screws, M3 T-nuts and of course the linear rails. After unpackaging the rails we can take a closer look at them. The ones I received have the text Vivedino etched on them. I could not find that company, so I'm guessing these are generic Chinese rails. Anyway, they seem pretty good for our purposes. They're not very noisy and slide from side to side very easily. They seem pretty dry and would benefit from some lubrication. If you have some white lithium grease, now is the time to use it. I will grease mine after I finish the assembly, but it's much easier to do it now. For the z-axis we need to select 4 of the loudest rails we've got, while keeping the remaining for the fast moving x and y axis. The z-axis is going to be moving pretty slow, so it doesn't matter if the rails are a bit noisier, we won't be able to hear them. So to find the loudest, just compare the noise they make by moving the carriages quickly from side to side. Something similar to what I'm doing here. With the rail selected, let's start the assembly. I'm using screws and nuts for half of the mounting holes in the rails, so in my case I'm using 9 screws and 9 nuts per rail. The number of bolts and nuts will differ depending on your machine size. The first step of the installation is to loosely mount the rails to the aluminium extrusions. Between each rail and the aluminium frame, we need to keep a 3mm distance. This space will be used later in the build to install the belt covers. So, I'm using an allen wrench that is 3mm thick to account for this gap. You can leave a 4mm distance, I wish I had since those belt covers are pretty hard to install and a bit more space will help. Since all four rails are installed exactly the same way, I will be showing you how to install one of them and move on to the final step. So for the final step we need to center the rails. In order to do this we have to loosen the screws for each rail and use the 3D printed center installation guides. Make sure the 3mm gap between the frame and the rails is still there and tighten the screws. These don't need to be tightened too much, just enough to keep things secure in place. And we also don't need to use thread locker on any of these screws. So after doing this for all the rails, we are finished with this part of the assembly. Thanks for watching and see you soon.